Welcome to the CA Virtual Network Assurance version 2.0 integration feature video. How to integrate CA VNA 2.0 with CA Performance Management 3.0. CA Virtual Network Assurance VNA is designed to enable you to meet the dynamic management challenges demanded by software defined networking. SDN and Network Functions Virtualization NFV, environments. It allows existing infrastructure management solutions such as CA Performance Management PM, to monitor SDN and NFV deployments. Once VNA is collecting data from an SDN environment, a PM administrator needs to configure the product so that it can interface with VNA to inventory the devices and components in the SDN infrastructure and report on their performance data. This video will demonstrate the configuration steps necessary to establish the integration between PM and VNA. After logging into PM with administrator privileges, Go to the Administration tab and in the Monitored Items Management menu, select the VNA Gateways menu item. This will bring up the VNA Gateways page. The entirety of the VNA integration is done on this page. Select the New button to bring up the Configure VNA Gateway dialog which consists of four fields. In the Host field, Enter the name of the host where VNA was installed. This server is referred to as the VNA host. See separate videos on how to install VNA on the VNA host and how to configure VNA installations for various SDN technologies. In the port field, enter the port specified when installing VNA on its host. Note that the default port during the VNA install is 8080 and is the value normally used here. In the Data Collector field, use the drop down to select the name of the Data Collector host that will gather the SDN inventory and performance data from the VNA host. Note that a given VNA host should only integrate with a single data collector in your PM architecture. Ensure the Administrator Status field has a value of UP. Use the drop-down if this is not the case. A status of DOWN can be selected if you want to activate the SDN Data Exchange at a later time. Select the Save button to complete the integration between PM and VNA. The Configure VNA Gateway dialog disappears and you will be returned to the VNA Gateways page. The VNA host should now be listed in the VNA Gateways table. To ensure the integration is working as expected, select the VNA host and then select the Refresh button at the bottom of the table. Validate that the Administrative Status and Operational Status both contain a value of UP and a green circular indicator. This will indicate that the integration is configured and operating properly. From here, you can click on the links to be directed to the documentation, communities, or to the CA learning paths.